we have designed a project which aims to address the spotted lanternfly issue, which especially impacts farmers since they tend to go for economically important crops like hardwoods, ornamentals, and grapevines. This problem especially impacts our local region of Pennsylvania, where it has the potential to drain over 300 million from the economy annually. Which is why we have developed a robotic solution to this problem with the potential to lower the economic and social impacts of the spotted lanternfly. On a broader scale, a robotic solution to these pests can increase the efficiency of farms, lower costs, lower chemical pollution of crops, and save labor costs for farms. The Farm NG Amiga was a fantastic platform to work with during this competition. It is modular and flexible, so we could mount all the equipment, sensors. It also allowed us to drive our road in different testing fields, which was a really nice capability. For a solution, we've mounted an arm to the Amiga base. That way, the Amiga base can drive up and target lanternfly egg sacs. This allows us to target the most susceptible part of the lanternfly growth cycle. We've mounted a drill burst sensor onto the end of the arm, which then targets the egg mass and then uses computer vision to reach up and scrape it off. We trained a deep learning model, um, particularly YOLO model. We used uh, a crowdsourced data set in collaboration with Dr. Arti Singh from Iowa State University. So they have a data set with a large number of lanternfly eggs that people capture just from their cell phones and we have like uh, 700 of those images. Since the data set doesn't have like millions of images that you would need for a deep learning system, we augmented that uh, with transforms like rotation, translation, and uh, zoom, and things like that. And we took that and trained uh, the model and we used that model for, for the detection system. We used OpenAI's step API to extract the locations of uh, the detections. After identifying the ECMOS, the next part is using that information to make the arm move to the target, switch on the brush, and scrape off the ECMOS. We mounted a six degree of freedom robot arm from U-Factory, the XOM6 in particular. We also use its control box to switch on and off the brush that we're using, using a relay switch. Simulation is a crucial component of robotics. The primary advantage of simulation is that it could streamline the development process. The simulation could help us to experiment with uh, different hardware configuration iteratively and quickly. We utilize the gazebo simulator due to its associativity with Rust. To do the simulation, we need to have a URDF file. It is an XML type file that will include all the physical description of a robot. In this case, we create a geometry by using the CAD, and then we took the geometry and add weight, mass, joint to the robot in the URDF file. By having the URDF file we built from scratch, we could simply change the width, the length, and deploy all kinds of sensors on the robot platform. Currently, spotted lanternflies are concentrated in the eastern portion of the nation, but they are predicted to spread to the whole country. By investing into this issue now, we will be saving higher costs in the future.